Look at this guy wearing a Pac-Man t-shirt. I bet he's never even played the game. He's wearing it ironically. He just thinks it's something that looks retro and cool. Well, f*** him. You know how many quarters I wasted playing that game in the arcade? Oh, I could really use that money now. You know, in college, I once wrote a paper about how Pac-Man is really an existential nightmare. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, think about it. You're trapped in a never-ending series of mazes. You have no arms or legs, and you're constantly haunted by ghosts that can kill you. Ghosts that never die. They're only reborn. Again, and again, forever, and ever. Uh, uh, hey, with all these video game movies coming out, has anyone tried to make a classic game into a horror movie? Hmm, I like that. You do? What about a really hyper-stylized nightmare horror film where, like, people are sucked into Pong and it, it looks exactly like it did the, in the original graphics and they just are stuck in there and the ball's bouncing around and if they get hit by anything, they just explode in just, like, a horrible <laughs> pile of blood and guts. So it's, like, cube, kind yeah, of? Yeah. and they, they're just... They're just, just in a big, empty void. Yeah. With these glowing sticks and balls. There, there are walls. There's the confines. Well, sure, they but... They can't find a way out. It's just the ball is just going faster and faster, and, and they just... It's just, like, horrifying. <laughs> well, who would do that? A wizard? I don't know. Uh, a bolt of lightning. That, that solves everything. They're in the arcade and it gets struck by a bolt of light and they get zapped into the... Yeah, Does this just... take place in the 70s and everyone has period appropriate clothing? Yes, sure. Yeah. They, and they all are in a bowling alley and it, there's a thunderstorm. So you have the bowling alley manager, you have like the young waitress, you have a police officer who comes in, the, the guy who runs the pizzeria, you have like a cast of characters and they're all in this bowling alley during a horrible storm. Mm -hmm. and One the, of them is a criminal who is running from the police. There you go, yes, yes, we got a whole big cast of weirdos in this movie, all sorts of different people. And um, Well and, then the first thing that happens when they get to the Pong world is that criminal is going to throw someone in front of the, right. the ball to, <laughs> to the, save himself. The, the police officer, yeah, they start fighting. <laughs> So yeah, and then that's a, that's a like a work out the situation. They're they're going along the edges of the, the game, trying to find like a way out, um, but but they can't. What are the walls made out of? You get to do some artistic thing. They're just like glowy walls. They're just glowy walls, and the ground is just black. Maybe, yeah, maybe they get a little electric shock if they touch the wall. I'm, I'm picturing just it'd be creepy if it's just a big empty void, just a black Bonk. void. They don't realize Bonk. until they hit the wall, then. Gets yeah, stabbed yeah, with yeah, lightning yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, they reach the end. Yeah, but when they're not touching the wall, it's just all black everywhere. Looks like an endless abyss. Oh, and then and then at the like, they get sucked into the game when lightning hits it during the thunderstorm. Then the next morning, the bowling alley opens up, and the storm has cleared, and some kids run in to play the pong machine. And some well, where's the manager? I don't know. He, he closed us. Should have locked the doors last night. Ugh. And then uh, <laughs> they turn on the game and then they, they see the Pong, but there's these weird little one-pixel glitches mm. in the game. And then they're playing the Pong. And they're, what are those little little dots in the game? I don't know. But when I hit the ball, it goes, Bleh! and they turn around. <laughs> and so the little kids are playing Pong. But in the Pong reality, that little blip is blood and guts everywhere. Yes, yeah. yes. Is the, ball, is, the, is the Pong ball in the Pong machine like a, like a skull? <laughs> Like a screaming skull surrounded by flames. Oh, you you think there should be some um, uh, an adaptation or some different views? I'm see, I'm picturing the Pong world. Just straight up. Straight up. Okay. Just a square of glowing four pixels, <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it just hits you and it blows you up. How the hell do you get out of this? I don't know how. Mm. I don't know. I was thinking one of the characters could be. Like like a like a fix it guy or what like a computer guy nerd, your standard seventies eighties computer nerd guy. Sure. We gotta find we gotta find the the motherboard. You know, try to <laughs> find a way to open up something in there. I don't know. What do you what do you think? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what, why are you looking at me? We gotta we gotta we gotta find a way to make we gotta have an action exciting ending. I think, you can't just have you can't just have sixty minutes of ball floating around. You gotta just you gotta do something. Our heroes have to like crawl down like the hole that the ball can sometimes go in, and that leads them to something else. Wait, what's this? I don't know anything about pong. 
<laughs> and I'm writing the Pong movie. What, what's this hole? Uh, the ball, when it gets passed, you know, the ball gets passed, and then you can score a point. They, they go down that. Oh, like like if, if it goes beyond your bar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's how Pong works. I forget about that. I thought it just went... <laughs> Yeah, you 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 float the bar left and right, and then you bounce the ball back and forth, and then if it yeah, it's like playing air hockey essentially. Yes, they're, they're, that's they're, fog. They're scared to go down there because it just looks like a black void. And somebody does it early in the movie, and nobody knows what happened to them. They didn't come back, but they get desperate near the end, okay. so they jump in. That's our, good. Our, our two heroes or our love interest, whatever. <laughs> they jump in there to get away from the ball and the, the the criminal, and then it leads to something else. I don't know what yet. See, this whole time we were talking about Pong, I was thinking of Frogger. Okay, the Pong game is plugged into the electrical power for the bowling alley. So they have to end up with the bowling scoring screens on the TV. <laughs> and they end up through the loudspeaker. Help us! We're trapped in the, we're trapped in the Pong world! <laughs> and then the phone rings at the bowling alley and they pick it up and they're like, hello? We're trapped in the Can people bowling see him on the monitor? Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's how, and then they have to recreate the lightning storm to get out. Uh, I don't know. What's <laughs> something? I don't. I don't know how they get out, but the pong ball has to come out and chase them. And now the pong ball oh. is in the real okay. world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And okay. everything it hits in the real world just gets vaporized, and nobody knows how to stop it. That's great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like the military gets involved. <laughs> And like the pong thing, it just hits like a tank, and the tank just like goes out of existence. Yeah. The pong ball, they they yes, okay. There's another storm coming in. Lightning strikes the building again. All of our characters fly out. There's a giant explosion, and the pong ball escapes, and it's going like like kind of that mild velocity. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and, and but it's getting faster. It's that's the ticking clock. Okay, sure. And it's and it's going through just barrels through everything that's in, in its path. And they have to find a way to deflect it off of the Earth so it leaves the planet. Because they can't stop it. The military tries. Everyone tries. And so they... What's the Pong? You, you, have, you have this tense scene where it's like it's heading towards like a fucking school. It's like, yeah. oh my god, the Pong ball's heading towards the school. And somebody like heroically jumps in front of the ball, sacrificing themselves so it bounces away. I want to see it going up the highway and it just cuts like a school bus in half. <laughs> I'm trying to think, because in the game, yeah, it hits the paddle and then it bounces back. I'm trying to think of like a real world equivalent that our characters figure out. It has we to need to use this building or this something. They have to recreate to deflect the, the, the paddle. Uh, yeah. How do you to do To shoot that? the ball back at the uh, bowling alley. They have to contact the guy who created Pong. <laughs> Mr. Pong. They, and find him and ask him how to create the paddle in real in the real world. Well, this is a period film, so he's going to still be alive. Yeah. And he's living in his house in California, and they call him up and they say, We have a Pong Ball situation, sir. It's out. It's out. We need... We How how do we make a, a hundred-foot-long electric paddle? I know. We can do a cop-out ending. The, the, the paddle fails. The, the Pong Ball just barrels through the paddle and explodes. Sparks are everywhere, and... It didn't work! And it's heading towards, like, the White House or something. And, <laughs> and then it, at the bowling alley, this little girl just unplugs the Pong machine. <laughs> and it goes... Doop. And everybody f***ing overreacted. <laughs> That's the ending. Or, like, the there's, like, a lady who's, like, vacuuming the bowling alley, and the vacuum hits the cord. Just unplugs. accidentally yeah, unplugs yeah. it, yeah. There, there. We got out of the... F fucking plot of this <laughs> film. And then did the characters all apologize to the audience? <laughs> so did the filmmakers. <laughs> Sony Pictures Studios. Now I'm like, starting to understand why the producers want to use AI to write their movies. <laughs>